Oh god, witness testimony. Here we go. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright like Quail Man from Doug and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Well, looks like he's got his butts. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? I... I don't... think so? Uh, no? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, are they? Really? Did I not know that? Okay. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Alright, we got the blackout record. Evidence building up against you, Mr. Butts. No, Mr. Wright. Yes, uh, yes, Your Honor. Amazing. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, cross-fire, Your Honor. All right, right. <laughs> this is it. The real deal. I'm just going to keep this episode going t till we're done with this whole thing. I don't care how long it ends up being. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Crossfire. You'll get caught up in it. Why? You exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Oh, man. Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? No way. How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Okay. Touch the court record button and point out the contradictions in the testimony. I'll do it. I'm gonna contradict your ass, boy. Oh, look at that. Face off right now. Alright. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing in an apartment. What is it? What is why? Why does it say why for like audio? Oh my god, what? Oh, t that, that makes me hold it? Okay. Whatever. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Oh, I'm supposed to stop and like pause at the part where it's a contradiction. Okay, I get your angle, game. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I, th I think it's the one o'clock thing, so I'm pretty sure it was a different time. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. No, that's the other guy's voice. Oh well. Who cares? I already read all this dialogue before, so it doesn't matter. He was gonna call, the phone in her apartment wasn't working, that's all well and good. So he went to a public phone, I believe it. The time, that's some bullshit. Hold it. 1 p.m.? Are you certain? They... 1 p.m. was abolished last week, idiot. It's 12 to 2 now. Yes, absolutely. What was his voice? I don't remember. He seems really confident. 1 p.m.? Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. All right. It was 1 p.m. Uh, so I'll present... Let's look at the blackout record. Does that say anything? Electricity was out from noon to 6 p.m. Well, that, that goes along with it. It's fine. Autopsy report. Time of death was 4 to 5 p.m. Dude, I gotta present this evidence. Objection. Object to your asshole. You found the body at 1 p.m., you're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. I remember it now. I wasn't gonna go this long, but hey, fuck it. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at sometime after 4 p.m. 
there was nobody to, uh, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three-hour gap? All right, sassy. Ooh, that! Ooh, uh... Oh, God, ooh, that... My, my impression of him was actually perfect before I even knew what his voice sounded like. <laughs> Holy shit, that's what he actually sounds like. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawit, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I... Gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. This is intense. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? All right, let's see what this guy comes up with this time. This faker. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. <laughs> That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Hmm. <laughs> hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. It's also entirely possible that I'll just split up the recording into whatever increments I feel is appropriate. So this might not even be episode one anymore. Nobody knows. I don't even know. You know before I do. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. I've got it good. All right. We're going to cross-examine this guy. We're going to take him out. He, so he heard the time. There was a voice. You know, I don't think that's possible, considering there was a blackout... Sir, hold it. Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? Well, that's not what I wanted to say. I do like the way this game is, is done. It's kind of cool, the way they do it. But I also, it's not what I wanted to say. I'm not immersed in the experience anymore, Phoenix. Well, no, I guess it might have been a radio. Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. There was only one large television. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but something about this seems fishy. Something about hearing the television. Everybody knows televisions are silent. The witness has testified. He heard the time. Well, let's keep going then. Three hours off. I guess the victim must have been watching a video. Listen, man, I'm going to tell you to hold it, hold it again because we got a blackout. Maybe I need to present. Maybe I need to present the blackout record. A video? Yes, that would explain why the time was wrong. True, true. Right. I think the problem lies someplace else. We're agreed that you heard the time at the scene, then. Okay, I'm gonna present. Can I do that? Can I present? Can I just present that right now? Objection! Objection. I'm not objecting to the 1 p.m., but just in general. There was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Oh, he's sweating. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. <gasps> oh, I will. Eh. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sewitt? No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Oh, wait, I remember now. Mr. Sewitt? The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. Fuckface. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That, and you seem rather... distraught? M my apologies, Your Honor. It's, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sewitt. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Get it right this time, buddy. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I, I saw it. Oh, that's an easy mistake. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Well, he's changing the story, but I guess it works. You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. 
Gladly. Hearing the time, my ass. I don't think so, man. Says he didn't hear the time he saw it. There was a table clock. Alright. Okay, the murder weapon. Should I present it then? Should I check it out? I mean, I might as well. Can I present it? Okay. I was holding Y, but it didn't do it. I had to press the touch screen. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue, idiot. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? You, 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 with your objections and your evidence. Yeah, that garbage. <laughs> Just who do you think you are? An attorney or something? Absurd. Just answer the question, Mr. Swit. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, uh, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is the switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes, I do. There is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. <gasps> Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. What do you think of that? Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. You wanted to be inside her on the day of the murder. She wouldn't let you, so yeah, took her out. Oh yeah, prove it. Prove I went in there, whatever his voice is. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Oh man, we have flipped the script. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. Guys, this is amazing. I want to be an attorney. <laughs> I'm giving up this YouTube stuff. I gotta study. That was the sound you heard. Oh my god. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I'm getting confident now. This is good. Mr. Sawit. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. Why would you hit her with that part and not the, the square part at the end, weirdo? That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Oh, Jesus, man. What's the meaning of all this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. Yeah. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that, that day, I, I never... Look, I, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, I saw, eh. Oh my god, oh dude, what the, <laughs> holy shit, okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you, it was him, I tell you, I saw him. He killed her and he should burn, burn, give him death. Jeez, man. Order in the court, I say. Your honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor. You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Sure. The whole case is riding on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor. You've come a long way in this one case alone, Phoenix. I'm really feeling it. The sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely this clock. Because that clock is wrong, and he thought the time was wrong. If you simply... Try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock here now, in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. Beep. You hear that? Beep. I think it's 825, but is it actually? That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. <laughs> so we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? It's actually... 
actually like 11.25. Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. 